Hello everyone, welcome to the session of Your Doubts, My Solution. And here we go. So as you know, we have started the new series. If you send me your doubts in the comments or if you send me it in the mail, I'm taking up your doubts and I'm solving it. Okay. So as a part of it today, I have taken the doubt of 7th Gaming. Okay. So menstruation chapter Yes, seventh gaming. His doubt is from menstruation chapter exercise 10.3 second sum. Okay, so I have taken the question here. So we'll just have a look. You people can also watch the entire video because you will get to solve one question and also you can send me your doubts. I will take it up as well. Okay, so just have a look at the question. A toy is made up of hemispheres surmounted by a cone. So there is a hemisphere surmounted by a cone. Surmounted means on the hemisphere you have the cone. Okay, whenever they are saying hemisphere is surmounted by cone, so the cone is above the hemisphere. So, toy is made in such a way that hemisphere is surmounted by a cone. So, this is the hemisphere where you have cone above the hemisphere, okay, whose circular base is joined with the plane surface of the hemisphere. So, this is the plane surface of the hemisphere. So, these two circular bases, the cone has a circular base, this circular base and the hemisphere circular base, these two are join together okay and let's see what is happening next the radius of base of the cone so the radius of the cone is given as 7 centimeter if the radius of the cone is 7 okay radius of the hemisphere is also 7 right and see the next important point the volume okay and its volume is 3 by 2 of the hemisphere okay so what is given to you volume of the cone they are talking about cone volume of the cone is 3 by 2 of the hemisphere what does it mean now volume of the cone is 3 by 2 of hemisphere so how can i write this now just have a look so i can simply write see here volume of a cone formula is one third pi r square h is equals to 3 by 2 of Volume of, of means multiplication, isn't it? Hemisphere volume is 2 by 3 pi r cube. I already gave you the short trick of how to remember the formula. If you have not watched, please do watch that video as well. Okay, recently it is uploaded. Now see, so 1 by 3, 3, 1 by 3 I can cancel. Pi and pi I can cancel. R square and r cube I can cancel and I will have 1 r here. So h is equals to and here 2, 2 I can cancel. So I will have 3 r. H is equals to 3R. See, everything is getting cancelled. You have H equals to 3R. So, H equals to 3 times what is R value? Radius is 7. So, substitute here. So, this is 7. So, your height, you got it as 21 centimeter. Okay. Height is height of the cone. So, this H, I got it as 21 centimeter. They asked you to calculate the height of the cone. We got the answer. Now, see, they are asking you to find they are asking you to find the surface area. Okay, height we got. Now, surface area of the entire toy. Entire toy is this to, for, to total toy. I want the surface area of this. Okay, and correct to two places of decimals. So to find the surface area of the toy, I can break it into two parts. I can firstly find the Curved surface area. What is this white color portion which I highlighted? See, this is nothing but the curved surface area of cone. Also, I need to simply find the curved surface area. Only this area. Okay, I can find the curved surface area of hemisphere. Understood? So, CSA of cone plus CSA of hemisphere will give me the surface area of the total toy. Is it clear? Okay. So, this inside this yellow color portion you will not take because that is not the surface. Both is joined now. Okay. Both the surfaces are joined. You have only cone at the top and hemisphere at the bottom. So, only this is the surface of the toy now. This base you will not consider. Okay. This circular region which is colored here yellow you will not consider because it is not a surface now. Okay. It is inside. So, now to find the CSA of, CSA of the toy. I told you it is nothing but, it is nothing but CSA of cone plus the CSA of hemisphere. CSA of cone plus CSA of hemisphere. 
बट वॉट इज द फॉर्मुला फॉर सी एस ए ऑफ कॉन पाई आर एल प्लस सी एस ए ऑफ हेम स्क्र इज टू पाई आर स्क्वायर ओके एंड हियर पाई आर आई कैन टेक कॉमन पाई आर आई कैन टेक कॉमन सो हैव एल लेफ्ट ओवर हियर प्लस टू हियर फ्रॉम हियर वन आर विल बी देर सो दिस इज अ फॉर्मूला फॉर सी एस ए ऑफ टॉय नाउ बट इफ यू केयरफुली ऑब्जर्व आई हैव माई आर वैल्यू I have R, but I want L value. How will I get L value? L is nothing but the slag height of the cone. So if this is the cone, the radius is seven. This height, vertical height is vertical height is twenty one. See H you got it as twenty one, and this is a right angle triangle here down. See this is a right angle triangle. So slag height you can get using Pythagoras theorem. So L square equals to I can write R square plus H square. R is R is seven, so seven square plus twenty one square, or that will be equal to forty nine plus four forty one. So that is simply equal to four ninety. So L will be equal to root four ninety. L square is four ninety. L is root four ninety. Or can I write this as root forty nine into ten? Four ninety is forty nine to ten. Root of a b is root a into root b. Root forty nine into root ten. Root forty nine is seven. Into root ten value. See root ten value. You can remember it. It is nothing but three point one six. Okay. You can remember root ten value because mostly they give you in the questions only. If they are not giving, you will have to remember. It is seven into three point one six. If you don't want to remember. Then four ninety closer square root you will find so twenty two square will be close to it so approximately twenty two will be root four ninety okay so that we also you can do so if I multiply this now I'll get something around twenty two point one three okay three point one six into seven I will get around twenty two point one three is it clear okay so that is my L value so here we can substitute in the formula so you know C S C of toy Is equals to what did I get formula pi r into l plus two r so that is equals to pi value they are asking you to take it as three point one four see in the question they gave you as three one by seven three one by seven means twenty two by seven three one by seven means seven three is a twenty one plus one is twenty two by seven so simply take it as twenty two by seven into radius is seven given to you in the question. Into slant height, you got it as twenty two point one three plus two times radius is seven. So seven and seven cancel. So twenty two into twenty two point one three plus seven two is a fourteen. Add and see twenty two into this is point one three four plus two is six thirty six. I am getting. So twenty two into thirty six point one three. If you do, you will get approximately seven four seven nine four point. Nine nine zero. Okay, so you can do it in your rough work. So to save your time, I'm writing it directly. If you want, you can do. No problem. So thirty six point one three. Sorry. Thirty six point one three into twenty two. If I do, it is six two twelve seven, and again you'll get six two two seven. So six eight. Four nine seven. Okay, and two decimals you have so count two places and put a decimal point. So seven ninety four point eight six approximately is the correct answer. Is it clear, everyone? And surface area. So it is centimeter square. If everything is given in centimeters, yes. Radius is seven centimeter. So you can write centimeter square here. Is it clear how to do? So you should firstly identify what is the surface. Here my white color is the surface. What what I have drawn there. Okay, so to find the surface area, write the formula first. So you will understand that you need L slant height. So find the slant height and then substitute in the formula. Okay, is it clear, everyone? So I hope the doubt is clear. And any more doubts, you can send me. And I have already, uh, you know, up, I will be uploading your strategy video for your target ten on ten for your board. So do stay tuned for that. Okay, so see you all in the next class. Do share with all your friends as well. Thank you. Bye bye.